Good morning, everyone. Uh, Salam alaikum. Uh, welcome to another installation of Zoom in on the Halal Metropolis. I'm here this morning with Dearborn City Council President Susan DeBaja. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Sally. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. So uh, first, I'd like to start off by wishing you a happy Ramadan. Ramadan Karim to you and everyone that's watching. And uh, just to find out how you and your family are doing, what's Ramadan like this year uh, with everybody stuck at home? It's a little different. Um, I got to say, I think the, the blessing out of this, and that's what I'm trying to look at, is that I'm, I'm able to spend a lot more time with my children and my husband. So we're, you know, we're home together. Um, Ramadan iftar every night is together, which is, which is wonderful for me because usually every year, I, you know, I'm invited to um, some Ramadan iftar dinners, which I enjoy. And I enjoy seeing everyone. But um, I think it's, it's a little different when you just spend every single day with your children and your, and your family. And so that's been nice. But obviously, we're, we're really missing out on the um, connectability that we are so used to during this time of my, uh, year uh, with my, my parents, my siblings, my friends, um, community, uh, other community members. It's just we're missing that. But we have to see the bright side of this. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I understand, especially for a politician, man, you've got to be out. I don't know how many iftars you probably go to every month. Uh, <laughs> you know, and what's funny is that we were just talking about it yesterday, and I had completely forgotten. Um, it's just, but yeah, so I miss it, but it's also enjoyable to be with my kids. Yeah. And just, I just have to ask, you know, is everybody in your family okay? How are your parents doing? Your in-laws? Yes. Yeah. So I'm really blessed. Um, that no one from my family or you know any of my loved ones have gotten uh, sick or ill uh, with COVID-19. So we've been really lucky. Um, and so I, but I really feel um, a, a lot of sympathy and, and, and I pray for those that have been affected, those that have gotten sick and obviously the family members um, that love them. So it's, it's, it's a difficult time for a lot of people. It absolutely is. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, we're, I consider myself blessed too. Um, largely just because I can work from home. <laughs> so, so lucky. Yeah. Um, well, so I've, I've been watching uh, so much on, on social media about all the, uh, the, the effort that people in Dearborn have been making to support mm -hmm. the essential workers. Can you tell me about some of those efforts? The efforts are unbelievable um, and just really makes me proud to be part of this Dearborn community. So at the onset of this pandemic, when it first started to hit Michigan and Dearborn, uh, the first thing that I did was I just put up a, a post um, asking people if they'd be willing to donate some uh, masks or gowns or any PPEs, uh, which, you know, we talked about. None of us really knew what that word meant before this pandemic, um, but just asking because I knew uh, we had a shortage for our medical health professionals, and we wanted to make sure that they have the gear needed to make sure that, you know, they don't get infected or, or get sick when they're helping uh, those of us that need their help. And when I first put out that post, um, within seconds, minutes, I got immediately responses from people within our, our city. And that was really impressive to me. And I'll tell you why. I knew we were always a great, very giving um, community. But in a time like this, during a pandemic, where people, where there was a lot of fear, especially in the beginning, not to say there isn't fear now, but I think we've kind of, to some degree, gotten grown accustomed to this new normal or new way of life. But in the very beginning, I was, I, I did not expect people to be so willing to be out there to donate their time or, or donate products or to go out there and buy some so they can donate. Mm -hmm. And it just happened. It was like a, like a ripple effect. And it didn't just stop with like the first few donors. It's continuous. I mean, now we're on like week five or six and I still have people that will call me and say, I want to donate. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've donated thousands of gloves, thousands of masks, um, uh, hundreds of gowns, um, alcohol wipes and pads, um, oxygen tanks, uh, food. I mean, unbelievable. We're going to talk about food. I know you want to bring that up, but people have called me and they said, listen, uh, I can't buy PPEs, but I'd like, you know, some bus local businesses, they say, I want to supply a, a good meal or desserts to our medical health professionals. How can I do that? And so we were able to donate to, you know, PPEs and food to Beaumont Dearborn. But, you know, people in our community are very giving and they're not just limited to their own backyard. So they were good with me donating to Beaumont Wayne and Taylor and Garden City. 
-hmm. So, you know, several hospitals were, uh, you know, reap the benefits of our generous community. That's awesome. Yeah. It, it, and it was so inspirational too, because everybody was feeling, you know, like you, you, your instinct is to want to do something, <laughs> but what can you do if you're trapped at home? So it's just great to see people going out and, and in a safe way going out and, and making a difference like that. Well, what about testing in Dearborn? What are the, what are the options for testing in the city or around the city? So Dearborn is uh, the first city in the state of Michigan to have CVS set up a testing site, a rapid testing um, drive-by site right here at the a parking lot of the Henry Ford Centennial Library. We, are, we were ecstatic to get that. And so I really want to thank our mayor, uh, Congresswoman Debbie Dingell, our governor, uh, Gretchen Whitmer, and everyone that was involved to make that happen. But, uh, you know, so you don't, it's for, for free. You uh, don't need a note from your doctor. You just need to log on to the CVS website and, um, you know, you just see where there's a link about COVID-19 testing and you select Michigan and Dearborn is the only city at this point um, in Michigan that offers it. So ask you a few questions. They just want to make sure that you have enough symptoms per the CDC guidelines, like mild symptoms. Um, and then they will um, schedule you in for a test. And within like 15 minutes, you're able to get your results. So it's, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Wow, we've really, we have made progress on that front. Oh, oh, absolutely. And then for our first responders, we've already set up at, uh, the Performing Arts Center immediately for, you know, in the event that we need to um, have them quarantine there. But they also got an Abbott machine that also produces rapid, uh, rapid test results for our first responders as well. Okay. Well, so I know that uh, the small business community has been really um, hit hard by the stay at home orders. But despite mm -hmm. that, people have really um, risen to the occasion and the food donations. I've seen people delivering cakes and sweets and, and full meals to the hospital. So what's that been like? Oh, it's, you know, as I was saying earlier, it's just, it's just the first responders, our, our, our healthcare workers have been really appreciative of this. You know, they're, they're working long hours you know, some double shifts over time. And so to be able to have a meal at the end of that or, you know, in the middle of that is, is very welcoming for them. So business owners um, from around our city and, and, and Dearborn Heights, our neighboring city, have been um, reaching out and wanting to donate, whether through me or through other individuals, you see it all across social media. And so um, one of the things that I decided to do is uh, because we were getting so many uh, generous donors, I started just uh, to post every Friday as a feel good Friday type post mm -hmm. um, to include or to showcase some of the generosity that's going on. And the reason I did that is for two reasons. First of all, obviously I want to show appreciation for those that uh, donated, whether it's their time, their food, you know, a meal or a product. And then second, and second reason is it really encourages others to also want to do the same. I've gotten people reach out and say, Hey, listen, I saw, you know, I saw so-and-so donate. Well, how do they do that? Or what can I do? And so it really inspires people to continue to donate. And at this time, this is something that we really need to do, especially with Ramadan now upon us. Um, people are, are, are in a more giving mood. So there have been uh, some more food drives. You know, we have the Amity Foundation, a nonprofit organization led by Ahmed al who has, you know, been in, in service for years. Um, and, you know, they've done food drives um, along with gleaners and access um, throughout our city. And um, people from anywhere can come. Anyone that needs a hot meal or a meal in general uh, to cook can come by these drive-by food drives and just pick up a meal. There's no contact. It's you know drive uh, drive by and they just uh, put it in your in your trunk. Um, and these uh, food drives have been located in different parts of our city to ensure that every neighborhood has access to it. But again, no questions asked. Um, people can come yeah. from anywhere. And I hear that Access and some other groups are, are also providing like free lunches and, and breakfast meals for school children. What it is, it's the Dearborn Public School System. So a lot of students depend on a breakfast and lunch uh, through their school. And so obviously when schooling went uh, online or at home, there's this obvious concern that these kids won't have that. And so the school district was great, kicked in right away. Um, with the help of the community and schools and a lot of volunteers to make it happen. And, and you need it. You need yeah. a lot of volunteers to make something like that happen. And so they were on a five day a week um, uh, basis donating up packaging. I, you know, I volunteered at Woodworth. I know there was five other schools within our city. There's Atzaford, Dearborn High, 
uh, Fordson, O.L. Smith, uh, McCullough, Eunice, and um, uh, 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 Woodworth. And so now I know they're down two, three days a week, but they, they still package meals for that day and the next day. Um, and, and anyone can pass by. It doesn't have to be even a Dearborn Public School student. They can pass by. They're not turning anyone away and they'll give us uh, some meals. That's awesome. So one last thing, I want to thank you for being, be, agreeing to be a judge in our Holiday Lights uh, competition. I'm excited. We're doing. Uh, so yeah. do, do you want to say a few words about the Holiday Lights competition? I think it's such a great idea and I'm so happy, Sally, that you and, and, and your team brought this, you know, brought this to light. Uh, no pun intended, but basically <laughs> it's, it's, you know, anytime you get a chance to decorate, I think that's a great thing. And, um, you know, I read somewhere on social media, somebody was saying, what do you think about lights in Ramadan or, you know, and somebody said, uh, and I must, my assumption was they're a non-Muslim. They said, you know, that's a charitable thing because for me, it makes me happy when I look at those lights. So they're doing <laughs> actually a good thing. And I, and I, I didn't really look at it that way, but it's, it's, it's a, it's a neat way of looking at it. But basically it's, you, you know, our opportunity to, um, to celebrate this holy month. And so mm -hmm. we want to encourage people to put up their lights, put up their decorations. Um, you can nominate yourself, nominate a neighbor or a house that you see. Um, go on the social media website. You can contact me. You know, there's a number of people that have been showcasing that, um, that flyer that's going around. But we, we want to encourage as much par participation as possible. And then I'm looking forward to judging and seeing who our winners are. I've already had um, a few people reach out to me. So it'll be exciting. I, I, I've noticed that a lot of the people who have submitted uh, applications or have nominated their families or whatever, they have the last name Debaja. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I had nothing to do with that. I <laughs> it made me laugh. They don't all spell it the way you do. As you know, there's a lot, yeah. lot of different spellings. But anyway, I just, I saw that. It just, it immediately popped out to me. Anyway, yeah. thank you so much for talking to us. It's been great. No, my pleasure. You. Um, we appreciate everything you're doing with the city of Dearborn. Stay healthy and have a wonderful Ramadan. Thank you. You as well. And happy Ramadan, everyone. Ramadan Mubarak.